Hello, Peter. Hello, everyone. I'm looking forward to joining you in Istanbul in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, Peter has asked me to share with you a few thoughts that might be a bit revealing for our conference and our discussions. I think it's fair to say that we are just facing a brand new world, a world of very high fuel prices, a world of uh, high taxes, a world of fairly expensive uh, new aircraft types or lots of orders, definitely a different space in terms of aircraft, and yet a world where passengers are still not very much willing to pay uh, much more than the average fare of the last few years. So this is a world with, uh, full of contradictions. Our view is quite clear with regards on how to deal with this new world. On one side, cost. Cost is always the starting uh, place, isn't it? It's the place where we begin to articulate uh, solutions and promises in the future. We must have the lowest operating costs in any market. When I say we, I meant I really mean any particular carrier in any market, not just Welling. And we must be able to achieve this on a continuous basis. Uh, lowering costs on a single year is not sufficient. Costs continue to go up, adjustments, cost of living, etc. Uh, costs continue to go up pretty much on a yearly basis. So there must be a way within the culture of the company to bring those costs down every single year. You know, we've seen lots of cost reduction programs over the last few months. We are seeing some fairly large airlines going through some of those at the moment. Uh, will they be effective? Uh, sometimes they are, but it's quite difficult. It has to be in the culture. Cost consciousness is probably the most important feature of any airline today in order to survive. But you know, that's not enough. Uh, cost and to have very low fares is not sufficient, is not competitive any longer. People want to have options. People want to be able to have access to other features. Uh, so it is very important that airlines increasingly get focused on providing more services. And uh, we have definitely been leading the pack, I think, over the last few years on this particular matter. You know, three years ago when we merged with Click Air, uh, I set out to tell the world we wanted to do this. We wanted to be a very, very low cost operator with uh, just about the same features as a traditional uh, world. And uh, we did not have that much credibility at that time, but three years onwards, we can clearly say that this is possible. It is possible because of having this cost culture and this cost consciousness. We have added all kinds of things from frequent flyer systems, which allow you to travel around the world, uh, full GTS distribution, connections, connections with other airlines, all kinds of things that are appreciated by customers and where there are a number of travelers that are willing to pay for them. You know, this last week, we just added newspapers. And of course, we've added them at no cost to the passenger, of course, but no cost to us. And maybe I'll tell you at the conference how we were able to achieve that. So to summarize, we are in a brand new world. We have the responsibility to maintain and lower costs on a yearly basis. But we also have to look for ways to become more sophisticated and to be able to mimic the product which passengers have really been expecting and been uh, receiving from traditional airlines all their lives, just achieved at a lower cost base. I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks and hopefully we'll discuss just how we may be able to achieve that. See you then.